Hello friends and welcome back to this uh, series of tutorial about Git and GitHub. Um, in last uh, tutorial we set up uh, Git, uh, we installed Git and uh, created a uh, project uh, with index.html and home.html and then we committed it, uh, made some uh, file changes and added it to our repository staging area and then committed uh, into Git repo. So today uh, we will be talking about uh, uh, how to use staging area and what is staging area and how it works. So we'll see a few um, things about that. And uh, so once uh, after you have set up your project, you'll need to get used to managing files in and out of staging environment. So let's take a look at uh, how to get things in and out of our staging queue. So, um, so now let's uh, start making some changes to our file which we have committed and um, so this is the file which I'm going to work now. So I'm going to make some changes and let's uh, see this is my second change and I'm going to make it version 2. So after I save it let's go and see what's the status uh, git is telling us so here you see after i made a change it says that change is <clears throat> not staged for commit uh, and all like uh, this is the change which git is uh, recognizing that we have made some changes here but this is still in my working uh, uh, directory it's a uh, working area and it's not been still committed into uh, pushed into staging and obviously uh, to commit it has to first go into uh, staging and then it goes to repository commit so <clears throat> what happens uh, if i have made changes but i want don't want to keep it and uh, i made some mistake and i want to go back to whatever was committed in my repository that's very simple what you have to do you have to do git checkout and just uh, give the file name uh, and our file name is index.html so when i run this command please keep an eye on this area here so as soon as i run this this will go back to my committed version so here you saw that so it became came back to version 1 and uh, it changes to this part and if i check the status now let me clear it first so let's check git status so it says nothing has been uh, changed and no uh, like working tree is clean and nothing to commit because we have uh, rolled back our changes and went back to the committed version so now let's uh, make those changes again i'm going to use my clipboard here uh, to make that changes so i just changed to this is my second change and version 2 and uh, so again, if I check the status now, sorry, oh, I forgot to save. So let's check the status. So it's again <clears throat> displaying the same message that index.html have been modified and uh, ready to move uh, for the next stage that is staging area. So to add anything to staging area, as we already know uh, in our last uh, uh, video we saw how to add something to staging so I'm going to do git add so I either I can give the name of the file or just put a dot so I put a dot and then let's clear it again and check status so now my changes have been moved to um, staging area and uh, this is my changes uh, which are moved to staging and ready for commit so now let's make another change let's call it version 3 and this is my third change and let me save it and if I check the status now okay so let me clear it and run it again so here this is my version 2 change which I did it's in staging area and this is version 3 change which is in um, my working directory right now so what if you want to make uh, move this uh, 
change for version 2 you don't want it to be in staging area and you want it to be out of uh, uh, circulation you th now you have made some changes you don't want to commit this into uh, repository but you want to move this instead to do that what you have to do so if you want to move these changes out of staging there is a simple command that is you do git reset so it's what it here is the message display it says that unstate changes after reset so it has uh, moved that changes back so if I do get status now so there is nothing in the staging area and if I move this index.html now to staging this will be committed and this file will be in final repository so if I do get add dot and let me clear it again and if I do get status so now my changes index.html with a version 3 will be available in my file uh, staging area and then I can commit it and uh, since we already know how to commit it so I will do commit hyphen m and then the message that this is my version 3 commit so it has been committed and it's clear and let's see the log let's see log <clears throat> so here you can see the version 1 which I committed into my last video and this is version 3 and uh, it has been committed this file and you can see now version 2 has been skipped and it's uh, nowhere available because you don't want to didn't want it to commit it so it's out of circulation and uh, your repository area is having uh, version 1 and version 3 and you can anytime move back to any version using this uh, hash code here and uh, check checking out anything back to that either to version 1 or version 3 so this was the video about staging and how staging works I will keep making further videos and uh, talk more about different uh, uh, commands and functionalities in git and then we will move to github how to work with a github project Thank you very much for watching and please do like and share and uh, also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.